When it comes to high calorie over the top foods, look no further than Chicago. Deep dish pizza, Italian beef sandwich, and this, the Chicago dog. Let's make one. Now then, let's begin work on the poppies eat hot dog buns. Trust me, if poppy seed hot dog buns were easy to find, and not so expensive, I'd buy them and skip straight to the hot dog part. Also, longer video means more ad means more moolah. Anyway, grab yourself one cup of warm water, add to it one tablespoon of sugar, Then add to our water sugar mixture one packet of active dry yeast. And while we wait for the yeast to wake up from their cryogenic sleep, at least that's how I think it works, let's work on the dry ingredients. First things first, grab a stand mixer with the hook attachment and add four cups of all purpose flour. Then add two and a half teaspoons of salt. Three quarters cup of milk, one egg beaten. Mmm, yeasty. Now add our water yeast mixture. Stir on low. Now, if it's looking a bit dry, you can add a few teaspoons of water. Okay, boost the speed to high. And knead it for five minutes. Okay, after five minutes, turn off with the mixer. Detach the dough from the hook. Cover, in, cover the bowl with a tea towel. And let the dough rise for at least an hour. Okay, first things first, preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Did your army lose a war to a bunch of emus? The number you're looking for is 205 degrees Celsius. Oh, wait, 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 let me fix that. There. Okay, I let my dough rise for two hours. Now I'll bunch it down. Oh, now that's sexy right there. Now take our lump of dough and try to um, form it into a square as best as you can. And using a dough cutter, cut it into eight equal pieces. Now take our pieces and form them into balls. So make an okay symbol, press it down with your thumb through it. Pinch the outer membrane until it forms a sphere. Roll it on the surface, and boom, here's your ball. All right, now grab one of our dough balls and just roll it into a cylinder shape, like so, and place it onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Okay, with our buns formed, let's give them a nice little coat in egg wash. Just combine a teaspoon of water with an egg, and boom, egg wash. And now, poppy seeds. So, now, if you don't have a drug test the next day, don't hold back on these. And voila. Stick our buns in the middle of our 400 degree oven and let them bake for 20 minutes. Okay, with our buns done cooking, place them onto a cooling rack and let them uh, cool. With our hot dog bun cooled down, we can finally begin assembly on our Chicago dog. 
And yes, I know this bun's a bit on the big side, but hey, a Chicago dog has plenty of stuff on it. And we need a bun that can hold up to the task. So using a knife, cut open a slot for our hot dog. Grab yourself a nice steamed hot dog and load it up. And no, it's not Vienna beef, but this has the natural casing on them. How can I pass these up? First things first, squirt of mustard. Spoon on some relish. Diced onions. One pickle spear. Two fat tomato slices. Two sport peppers. And a final dash of celery salt. Chicago dog is complete. And just like that, this Chicago based mountain of calories is ready to be devoured. If only your baseball teams were just as awesome. Snap. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and mean it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh, CRJ, did you go to Chicago to do your research? Nah, I just went to the Portillo's drive-thru and went to park. Trust me, I wish I had that money in time.